Syrian refugee Bilal Ibrahim's dream of going to Germany has landed him here, a mosque in a Turkish town on the Mediterranean Sea, where for the past few weeks he slept outside, some nights in the rain. He's surrounded by other people awaiting their window of opportunity to attempt the perilous boat trip to Europe via Greece. But unlike most of them, Mr. Ibrahim has no duffel bags stuffed with belongings. He hasn't purchased a life jacket from one of the shops down the block, and he doesn't have the some $900 it costs to hire a smuggler to help him attempt the dangerous crossing to Greece. Despite his lack of resources, he says Syrian friends who've already made it to Europe advised him this Casablanca-like way station is where he needs to be. This is the coastal town of Izmir. It's become a hub for refugees from around the Middle East, especially Syria, who are trying to make it to Greece. We spoke with a smuggler earlier today who told us that there are fewer people in this town now than there were just a month ago, but there's still a steady stream of people who are taking their chances and waiting to get over to Greece. They told me, come to Izmir, Mr. Ibrahim says. You must find someone who's able to help you. He says he's hoping to meet a smuggler who's willing to give him a free ride. Why would he do that for free? Well, I, I don't know about it. Mr. Ibrahim says he fled the civil war in Syria two years ago after being jailed for belonging to an opposition group. He left his family and education behind. Until recently, the 22-year-old says he barely scraped by working a construction job in a Turkish border town. He says job opportunities in Turkey for men like him are scarce and why he wants out of the Middle East. Speaking for the other young men around him, he says, we hate ourselves. That desperation, let's say, can put them in a vulnerable situation in the hands of smugglers or traffickers who may not have their best interests at heart. Arezzo Malakuti studies refugee migration for a company that does research for the UN. A lot of them have tried to settle in different parts of the Middle East. In countries like Lebanon or Jordan or even Turkey, they have tried to find jobs and settle there. When those efforts have proved futile, that's when they have attempted their secondary movements to Europe. The lack of resources within Turkey and other Middle Eastern countries has been a source of frustration for European officials who consider it to be a prime driver of the onslaught of illegal immigration. 720,000 refugees have migrated by sea from Turkey to Greece this year. The European Union recently offered Turkey $3 billion to help fund efforts to check the unprecedented flow of refugees from Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan and defend for Syrians inside Turkey so they don't have to travel to Europe. Turkey's pledged to tighten border controls and improve conditions for the more than 2.2 million Syrian refugees now living in the country. They are realizing that things at home are not going to improve anytime soon, so now they are looking for places to be able to settle down in and to build their lives in. Right now, it would take a lot to convince Mr. Ibrahim that Turkey is that place.